What's happening, everybody out there? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. So I've got an issue. I have three photographs right here. I've got this kind of boat on this ocean. I've got kind of this yacht and the sunset, and I've got this really mega yacht, which I really wish was mine. If we look at the code, I've got a basic bootstrap setup, and what I have here is I have a call for the images for the boat and the beach over here on the left-hand side. I have a second column over here for the boat at sunset, and I have, of course, that mega yacht for the third column. The problem is that all these pictures don't really line up. Now, this picture here is pretty close to the next one, but this yacht photograph really is not lining up to our three. What I really want to do here is I want to digitally enable these pictures to be all the same size. Now, we can't really set a width and a height, but we can set something new in CSS. What I'm gonna do here in this design is that inside each image tag, and if you've watched any of my videos before or if you haven't, I'm not a big fan of setting classes inside of images. That being said, sometimes you just gotta do it. So it's a never say never thing. I have here an image fluid, and what the image fluid does is within Bootstrap, if I take this out and show you what this is, and whoa, there is that giant photograph right here. The image fluid makes the picture the size of its parent. In this case, we have the column. So by saying image fluid, the picture fits to the width of the parent. Since this picture is kind of two by three, this one's not quite two by three, and this one's not really at all two by three, but I want to say one to one, I want to make all these image aspect ratios the same, thereby enabling the width and height to be the same, thereby they'll fit all the same way across each section. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new class. I'm gonna call this one image, I'm gonna call this one image fit. There we go. And I'll just copy it and paste it and drop it down there. So by default, nothing's gonna happen here. And if I head over to my CSS file, what I wanna do is I wanna say image fit. And what that's gonna do is say aspect ratio. And what it's gonna do is it'll enable me to create a percentage or a fraction. So I'm gonna say 16 by nine. Oops, how about we say actually 16 by nine, not 19 by six. Typing is difficult all of a sudden. So if I do this, what's gonna happen is it's gonna make it work. Well, kind of. The picture here looks pretty good. This picture is looking all right, and boo, we got problems because I squished my super yacht, which is what I really want in my life, so I don't want to squish it. So we have to add a secondary piece to this puzzle, and that's the object fit. So if we say object fit, what I'm gonna say is cover. What the cover is gonna do, ooh, that looks much better. What the object fit cover does is it says, put the picture inside the aspect ratio, and it's gonna be outside, like this picture did get cropped. However, the picture did stay within the boundary lines of the aspect ratio. This looks a heck of a lot better if I do before and after. Here's our before, and now here's our after. This is really especially critical if you want a clean design within cards or any kind of layout that you want the images to be the same way. However, you might not have the same image across each picture at all times. Now, for me, this crop is good, but I wanna take it a step further. And if I look at this design, if we look at it, it does eventually go to a two column design. We hit the medium and small using the bootstrap different breakpoints. Now, to me, what I want to happen is I want this aspect ratio to go more square when I hit this size of a design. I think we can go right about there for right now. What I want to do then is I'm going to say at media and say max width and say 767.98. That's their breakpoint in bootstrap to where it hits the medium and smaller. And I'll say image fit. And in here, I'll say aspect ratio one slash one. Ah, oh, that looks much better. Now we get, there we go, is a square picture and it just fits the picture inside. It, what it does is great part of the media queries, it takes the object fit cover, 
So if we take this out and save it, we'd have problems except for this picture right here. But the object fit comes through into the media query and makes these pictures at a one-to-one -one ratio. To me, I think about if I have this a wide design, I will keep that 16 by nine. But if I think about using more of a square vertical, I might leverage the power of that taller design to increase my aspect ratio. So I can always flip it to whatever I want to. I can also say 1.25 to one. I can choose the size that I want and it doesn't affect the wide section across the page when it comes to the aspect ratio. And we're just again, cropping these pictures digitally without actually altering the pictures themselves.